Hey guys, welcome back to some Baldur's Gate 3. So last time we finished off the Githyanki uh, crash and created a potion with Mind Flayer Buddy and purposely failed our, all of our saving throws just to see what would happen. Apparently nothing. Uh, we did unlock the Survival Instinct skill, which is pretty, pretty dang good. It's sort of very similar to what this mace gives us where it just allows us to come back if we get knocked down which is pretty useful we go down a lot uh let's take a long rest we are all out of short rest right now that's fine heal up nice and good let's put on the guidance amulet we're gonna go finish off the I can't think today. We're going to go finish off the Dwargar, so. I thought I had the Potion of Sylvanas in here. Maybe I don't. I mean, I... Yeah, I clearly do. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's take that. I had this bug before, and it's a very strange one where if they see you, like, reloading the... Um, statue that everyone goes hostile. I don't know what that's about. You know, it's not like they know I stole it, right? And why would why would they care? Why would, why would my dog care that I stole the statue? I was kind of holding off from from streaming Baldur's Gate actually, first because I was out of town, but also because the latest patch supposedly like broke a couple things. Never wanted these. When it comes to just everything, like dialogue and uh, dialogue and like something with doors are not opening for people now. So I am kind of like scared to play and run into some bug I can't fix. Do you really have to hide to steal back your own statue? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that does give us a couple skills that will help us. You never know. Yeah, we're going straight to the Dwargar and we're going to finish that. This stream. I, I swear it. Hopefully. I don't know. There's a lot to do again. I I keep like thinking, I'm like, oh, you know, it's not too bad. There's not that much to do there. There's a lot to do there. A vessel wobbles on the lake's murky waters. Sail into the darkness. I lied. I'm not sailing into the darkness. I am going up to the arcane tower to get something real quick. This was from a comment by uh, Chonis. I saw this stool of giant strength and thought that was weird. Apparently, if you sit on it, you get something from it. And so I wanted to go get that really quick. Third floor. Oh yeah, okay, here it is. Yeah, so you go and you sit on this. What's this feeling of power? When he sit on it. It's gone. I felt so strong. Where did that come from? <laughs> you get hill giant strength. And supposedly you destroy it. Sherlock could make for a fine weapon. You get a club of giant strength. That increases your strength to 19. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I like that. We have, you know, the potions of giant strength. So it's not as useful but be good for a wizard to increase their strength even just to carry more stuff uh yeah i just wanted to grab that real fast i thought that was cool 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 comment i appreciate the comments like that they tell me stuff i'd never be able to figure out now we shall depart craft is ready to sail into the darkness We forgot to pick up that crystal down there. What a shame. Hello. I swear I didn't kill all those other Dwargar. You! 
What are you doing on Gex Raft? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> he knows that we murdered them all, doesn't he? Where's Gek? Who are you? Um, let me... But yeah, let's see what he has to trade. Apparently he has stuff. I didn't know. I think he would. What is this? Kind of cool. Is he a merchant when you get in the city? I don't remember. It's amazing that the people that will trade to you while they're threatening to kill you, right? This is just... What is this? A light? <laughs> I guess. Great club plus one, some other crap. A sword, probably pretty decent, right? I'm not gonna buy anything, I just wanted to see. Didn't know he would trade with me. A lot of people will trade with you. Um, so, every time I've done this part, I've always... I've always, you know, talked my way out of it. I've never actually fought on the boat here, and so I kind of want to do that. <laughs> I don't know if I want to push him into the water, though, because then we don't get his loot, right? Let's just attack. Got him, fellas. <laughs> you can kick him into the water. It's way funnier to do that, but he apparently has some good loot on him. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we will have to talk our way out of this. These guys are going to wreck us. I don't really care so much about their loot. That's not as big of a deal to me. Because they just have, you know, the typical garbage you come to expect. Uh, I want to get over there. I guess we should have put on the guidance necklace. I forgot about this scene. I want to get over there and start shoving them off. But it is a bonus action to jump. Can we jump just from- oh, well, we can't actually jump from right here. I thought we'd have to move a little bit. Can we survive an onslaught like this? Can we get up here? Yeah, I'm not- I'm not worried about him hitting us. There we go. No, we don't want to use luck. I feel like I should be turning that off until I know we're going to go into a fight. Like, a, well, a harder fight than this. You know, obviously I'd rather save that for Nier if we have to fight him instead. I took out poor old Herc who's having a seizure. What happens if we go invisible? Will we just be floating on this boat forever until they find me? I have no idea. Huh. Wow. That was a lot of damage. Another crit. That's what's so crazy about the way we've built our guy. So we have a 99% chance to hit. Like, most of the time. That's pretty insane. A cool hammer in there, too. Well, I was gonna shove these people, but apparently they're... Blisses. I guess we could shove you. <laughs> Shoving people never gets old on this game, does it? I don't... No, these guys probably don't have anything too great too. We could try to shove them, but what if they have some amazing like loot, you know? Didn't mean to get that attack, but Um, we'll shove you, why not? <laughs> oh, and so that animation that just played of me not shoving, or I guess didn't play. That's not because of mods. That's not because of uh, speed hacks. 
It is the game. It is a bug in the game. I'm not doing anything wrong. <laughs> These guys are a lot easier than I thought they'd be. <laughs> I mean, we still haven't won the fight yet, but I think we're going to. Even, even when he turns into a big boy. Oh yeah, I forgot. We also got that temporary health thing. We should be using that every time. Uh, we'll, this one. Shield of Thralls. Yeah, we, we unlocked that when we spent a tadpole point. Yeah, we do get his stuff. Cool. Why would you buy it? Not that. That's something I find sort of weird with this game is you get a lot of weapons where it's like at this point you know you probably have something much much better than you know like there's nothing wrong with this sword by now you have something way better it has like a special ability i don't know same with like this bow probably by now you have something better I don't know, maybe it's just vendor garbage. Especially especially because the default party is only four people. And like they're pretty specialized, you know. It's ready to sail. Like you only need there's only one fighter in the whole party, and so that's probably the only person gonna be using a two-handed sword. There's no you don't have a paladin character unless you have Minthara. Uh yeah, let's go across the lake. <laughs> okay, that looks so cool. I love it. None of his armor matches. <laughs> We're getting pretty close to where I stopped playing my um, offline playthrough. So we're going to be entering blind territory pretty soon. I didn't get very far in act two. What do we got here? Dead hoon walking, seems like. Got any reason I shouldn't sever your head and toss it to the Rothe? Um. <laughs> I'll be severing yours if it's all the same? We'll see about... You feel the slightest of stirrings in your head. The Dwergar is not infected, yet your minds resonate. Oh, I'll be... You're one of them cult freaks. Felt the tingle. In that case, let's talk business. Your twat's old friend near caused a rockfall, trapped tighter than a hornet's arse. Couple of known slaves. Apparently, a hornet's arse is are tight. You absolute shaggers owe us a crap load of coin. You want through? Make a donation. <laughs> I'm not giving you a single coin. I'll clog your hole. <laughs> Just shitting around. But I'm warning you. That twat soul ain't settled up soon. There'll be hell to pay for the lot of you cult buggers. Goodbye. <laughs> I love I love the Dwarga. Just like the goblins, where I wish they were a bigger part of the story. You just you never get to see Dwarga in games, you know? Or if you do, they're just Hostile and attack you on sight, and you know that's the extent of the interaction with them. I, I love Dwarger. Angry bald gray <laughs> dwarves. <laughs> Dead drow publicly displayed. The Dwergar is sending a message. Uh, you can do something here with the spiders. Should we? Yeah, we, okay, we bought some of these. Or, no, we made them, actually. Let's go talk to them. I speak true, brothers. You know it in your hearts. You know it in your very souls. We need no Lolf. No Spider Queen. Father Murmuth is the head of Clan Lur. He hatched us, raised us, feeds us. What care we for his business here? He keeps us small. Keeps us contained. We should be with the Spider Queen, revered, adored. 
Recall your learnings about the Spider Queen. Sure, why not? We got our guidance. You've read that harming spiders is illegal among Lot's faithful, and often punishable by death. Father Mermuth is our past. Loth is our future. Ah, <laughs> uh, insight failed. That sucks. Uh, we got, we got the religion checks. We can. Xanta, oh. is it so? I've heard the very same. Come, brothers, follow me into her hairy embrace. Gross. Her embrace. <laughs> We're ready. We follow. Ah, wait. Uh, yes. Now, brothers, our new dawn awaits. They don't attack him if you do that, right? Can you? <laughs> wait. <laughs> Do you have anything to say? Quit distracting me. Did you notice your spires ran off? Hey? Oh, those worthless bugs. Always were the stupidest ones I ever raised. <laughs> How the minotaurs get them? <laughs> no, they were kind of stupid. The boat. No, I don't want to get back on the boat. What the heck? Um, yeah, so there is a lot to do here, including, but not limited to, this depressing part. Unless you're here to kick some stiffs lakeside, I suggest you bugger off. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Dwarg are great people. My friend, I play Goliath, Goatball, Moonhawk, and Pegasus Polo with corpses. <laughs> I hope you're checking them for loot first. You gotta be kidding. These trash don't have nothing. He's got hair too. Rocks. <laughs> rocks. <laughs> rocks. All right, sweet. One of the corpses. Thank the absolute. They're all yours. Absolute. I like this. He's a simple, simple man. <laughs> Deep gnomes killed under the yoke of slavers. No shops on the fuse plane. I might take it, have a look in your pocket. I think I can trade with the dead deep gnome. <laughs> Creepy. I feel like I shouldn't be able to do that. Yeah, it's a ring of invisibility. That's pretty good. Poor guy just wanted to trade with me. We, we might free the deep gnomes. We might free the deep gnomes. I do like them. And last time I was here, I uh, sided with Nier and I felt real bad. Wouldn't recommend it unless you're trying to be very very evil obvious there's some yeah there's some stuff in here you can do I'm just trying to remember I guess you can pick the lock here right is there anything else no wait we have thieves tools Oh, we did. Did we not have thieves tools? To... Oh, we must have burned through them. That's not good. That's what happens when we have zero skill in lockpicking. I mean, we maybe we could break it down. No, we can't even attack that door. Hey, stick shit! It's stick pit. You piss pot. That's what I said. Stick shit. My mug's gone dry, stick shit. You heard her, stick there's... shit. Fill her up. Oh, uh, they're so horrible. What's going on here? Another uh, stick shit. <laughs> Piss pot. You flirt. Now jump to it. Oh, it's up to the lift. Straight to the shadows. True soul, yeah? 
Tell the sergeant we won't move a pebble. Captive is most entertaining. How do I get one of my... Uh, gotta love being evil. You just take one. They're swarming the place. They'll squirm a bit. Maybe give you some lip. All it takes is a stiff crop to get them in line. You're quite the blowhard. I can appreciate that. I appreciate how few shits I have to give you. <laughs> hey! Stick shit! Where's my drink? Coming right up, piss pot. Stick shit, dogs like smug, and he wrecked that shroom village. And then shagged it. <laughs> Here's to smug, nasty prick. Uh, we're, we, we gotta free the... The deep gnomes, right? I feel bad for him. I do love that. Like, this is the thing too. Is is what's a fault like this? I don't know. They they always a lot of games will try to subvert, like like you know they'll make Dwargar good or whatever, which is fine. But like they're supposed to be terrible people. You know that's that's kind of the point. This guy Stonemason Kith. And them are, are obviously the exceptions, but like that's kind of just like Dwargar culture. It's the same with the drow, where it's like if you make all the drow not good, it's kind of like, well, what's the difference between them and any other elf, right? How peculiar. Smooth face, cobbled edges. They're a sign. They must be. What do these guys have here? A sun dweller in these parts. Look here, my topside friend. I need fresh eyes. And I doubt I'll find fresher. I think he has some stuff to sell, doesn't he? Thieves tools, yes please. Um... Anything else? Infernal alloy. Hmm, I wonder what that's for. <laughs> Guess we'll never know. Yeah, I thought he had better stuff than this, but I mean, these banish is pretty good. If you're an actually, if you're an actual wizard, that's fine. A friendly welcome. That's rare in the Underdark. As rare as a smile in Shindlerin, you might say, but I've no skill for slaving. I prefer chisel to cane. But these learned eyes reach their limits. And so I must humbly request yours. What a nice guy. Peering into cracks and crevices in hope to find history's morsels. I have come up regrettably short. I hope you might see truths where I cannot. Yeah, what do you want me to do? Rock, the rubble, all of it, if I may be so bold. Take a look. <laughs> Tell me what you see. And be thorough. <laughs> uh, we're not getting a lot of stuff, are we? These are like cool rolls to get too when you're, you know, have a full party and have good characters making these rolls instead of our guy. Thank goodness for bonuses. Several glassy stones stand out in the debris. Their borders are coated with tiny yellow crystals. The hottest of flames smoothed the stone and left sulfuric crystals behind. The fires of the hells have touched Grimforge. I think he... doesn't he give you something if you pass all these checks? I feel like he does. Like, like you get a better reward or something. Uh, we can roll a history, I guess. DC 10's not, you know, we basically have to get an 8. To a five, that's not you know impossible. It's just you know when you're us, you don't get that. You get a two. The statue's meandering curves and golden edges stand out against the weathered masonry behind it. You consider the differences, but they mean nothing to you. <laughs> Anything standing out? Uh, let's examine it. Why not? 
There we go. Boulders and stone bricks of various sizes clutter the corridor, many split cleanly in two. Yet some walls remain fully intact. No quake brought these rocks down. They were smashed through in an instant. Something big charged through here. Something very big. Like a demon or a devil? What do you think? Let's yes. talk. The rubble. Oh, it was a great beast that tore these walls down. I should have known. Sulfur. Of course. The rocks have been altered by hellfire. Alas, you've left me with more questions than I ah. well, My survey continues. Well, let's see what you've got. I, I do think you get something from him. That's all then. But we did not pass the checks. Unfortunate. Tired. Sleep. Rest, little one. But do not take long. I feel his shadow. I heard his name whispered. The rock shivers from the sound. The Ketherick Thorn. The name means little to you, yet your heart pulses to its rhythm. Thorn. Thorn. Who is he? Mm. Mighty elf. Cloaked in darkness, ten masters ago, and ten more. But I remember there was the work and the blood. There was the Thorm's army. There was the hell beast that broke them. The Ketherick Thorm's name faded into stone. Until the near came. How old are you? I outlived my mother and her mother's mother and many mothers beyond. Blessed to see many live, cursed to see many die. Never talked to this guy before. Um, what kind of hell beast destroyed his army? I saw tusks and flesh, smelled fire and eggs. It came with the mask men, crashing and smashing. Cryptic. What does Nier have to do with him? I know not, so I say not. Yet I hear his name again, said by the shadows. Goodbye, mysterious cow bull thing. Uh. Look at the skeletons, you realize they are all clad in the same dark armor. <laughs> I guess we'll roll a history check. I don't think we're gonna get it. Oh, okay. Among the various fabrics, you recognize the unmistakable symbol of Shah, the Dark Lady. Cool. <laughs> yeah, this obviously this seems a lot more interesting when you have a uh, shadow heart with you. Our guy's kind of like, all right, sure, that's interesting. <laughs> oh my gosh, we don't have the thieves' tools to be burning through game. It was all worth it for a plus one crossbow. A special. Sharon. Plus one crossbow. <laughs> oh man, we need more Thieves tools. I didn't know we were so low for some reason. I thought we had like 10 of them. We 
I was gonna say we can like long rest and and refresh the uh, merchant there, but no, you actually can't here. Every time you go to camp, time passes, and you do not want time to pass while you're here. Too much time, unless you want everyone to die, which I don't. I want to kill them by my my own hand. Oh my gosh! So not only is this trapped, and we failed the perception check, but we have to lock. I guess we could be breaking through certain things, right? Maybe not? I thought... There we go. That's a... back Backseat gaming award right there. I didn't even think about throwing it. Oh yeah, shield. Shield for lightning chargers, eh. We've sort of sold all of our lightning charge stuff. Not too crazy. It, it would be interesting to do a whole build based around it because there are a lot of items that interact with lightning charges. I just, we don't have any, we sold them all. You, grab a cane and whip these drugnin beasts into shape. That rubble needs clearing. And my patience is hanging on by an arse whisker. Shouldn't be trouble for a brute like you. Well, let's see what he has to trade before we insult him. <laughs> a brute? Is that what you see? Sure as shit in. That orc blood makes you damn near feral. There's no denying the blood call. And there's no shame in it. Now go on, brute, and get these beasts moving. Uh, leave it to me. Go on then. Light a fire under the buggers. <laughs> See, they're 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 racist and they call me a brute, but they respect my bloodlust, so that's you know. No more, no more pain, no more work. All must die. <laughs> what has you in such a state? Oh, yeah. Fire. I can smell it. It's too much. Too much anger. I can't hold it in. I mean, we could get them to kill the Dwargar. Then I'm trying to think, he might not be able to get through this rubble, or maybe there's another way through it. Hmm. <laughs> I've never... See, see, and th this is also... You know, I'm not... Uh, sometimes I'm not doing the optimal thing, but I'm also kind of just trying to see... Oh, you can explode it, okay. I'm, I'm just trying to see what the differences between my last decisions are, so it's like I want to try different things, even if it's not optimal. Yeah, k kill your masters. We could just explode it ourselves then. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes, they made the pain. Now they feed. Oh crap, does that? Does it turn everyone hostile on you? Because I don't want to kill the Dwargar yet. Maybe it doesn't. Um, let's just... Hmm, he's probably the scariest, I would guess. Kind of... I don't want him to, like... I don't think he will, but I, I don't want him to be running off to go tell on us. Like, what happened in the goblin camp. Those little kids. Oh crap. <laughs> wow, these things suck. They don't have a lot of hit points. <laughs> ah, I forgot to use the temporary hit points again. Man. Shh. 
I'll take out this guy so he can't shoot us. Or not, you know. That's fine. The Mage Slayer will get him. There you go. I love Mage Slayer. Hoping that re-engaging combat doesn't aggro the whole clan either. Yeah, it's it's because of the the dark urge cloak we're wearing turns us invisible, and so they de-aggro when we get you know they can't find us. Combat will end. Super cheesy, like that. <laughs> It lets us get off a lot of attacks before they get to. I almost want to take it off because I feel like it's a little too much cheese for me, but I don't know if we can afford to. These guys probably don't even have anything good on them, but XP is XP. Not much use for this slag. Nice speckles. Oh, he actually has a uh, whipping cane on him. Let's go see if everyone's pissed. Doesn't seem like it. Uh, okay, that's fine. As long as no one cares, I don't care. Do I have any smoke powder? We can just get through this with a hammer, actually. There we go. Who needs explosives? Okay, let's fly here, I guess. Going the long way around. Just big brain. <laughs> Cast a spell over here and fly around so you can enjoy your spell for longer. Uh, there we go. I don't even remember what's over here. Hopefully it's good. No. No. That was not worth it. <laughs> and the Idol of Shard doesn't really anything for us because we don't have any companions all right 18 dc man that's brutal maybe we need to change the dice colors you know mix it up it worked <laughs> okay instant combat i thought i could get a Cheesy shot in. <laughs> I maybe they did at some point. I don't think that's true anymore though, because you can see it add the modifiers when you skip it. Yeah, they, they really do need more dice clothes. It should, or at least it'd be cool if you could like customize your own. Then it'd be a lot like tabletop. Okay, what do we want to do here? We can kill one of these guys. We'll go invisible again. Or not because we're burning. Makes sense. I call this the bravely running away strategy. It works some of the time. Oh, it's like, what is our concentration saving throw? It's the guidance. We should just swap necklaces again. I will never be good at swapping items before combat. Okay, all right, two hits in a row. <laughs> Uh, I thought we were doing so well. It's because we're not going invisible. Our cheese isn't working. Uh, are we gonna die? 21, 21 AC, I believe. No. Oh, oh. I'm fading fast. 
Not even close. Is this just a plus one halberd pretty much? Okay. Uh, we'll take it. Another mop, heavier than it looks. Wouldn't be very comfortable. Now, it was was it all worth it? Another mask. The more I find, the more curious I get. Uh, Fire Stoker. Dragon Slaying. That's pretty cool. I don't remember that arrow from before. Yeah, I don't know if that was worth it. We took a lot of damage here. Looks like the place the Dark Justicia's letter mentioned. Left out in plain sight like that? No. The Harpers are too smart for that. Yes, the Harpers are too smart for that. And indeed they are, indeed they are. Uh, I think that's the chest right there. Yeah, so for some reason I have a very high suspicion about these chests. Let's put on our combat stuff. I remembered this time. Oh yeah, we got Brand the Week last time, huh? Another amulet we need to remember to use, because that, that one's super, super powerful. For the type of playthrough we're doing. Um, I guess we'll take the extra health here. This calls for careful for can we just like shoot it? Yeah, you can. Let's get a little bit back. We'll just shoot it. <laughs> Had to be mimics. Although, for some reason, that one just left combat. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're gonna sit over here and make them come to us. Because we're brave, brave fighters like that. It's weird that they're not all showing up in the combat. But they're. Okay, there we go. So they're resistant to everything, aren't they? Yeah, they are. That's annoying. Hmm. Should have gave ourselves those temporary hit points again. Since it's a short rest thing. Who needs them? So we can make them vulnerable, right? With the perilous stakes. Does cost an action to use. I should have done that first instead of shooting arrows. <laughs> well, let's try it. We haven't used it yet. We can action surge too. It's kind of nice because it gets rid of their bullcrap immunities. Yeah, we'll, we'll use it. I think you can get away with one long rest before Nier dies. I think. Just one, though. I mean, we could just save him, but once you save him, if you're going to save the Deep Gnomes, you do get in a, a big fight. I wish we were barred. Those would be pretty good gloves. Path lies before me. I wonder what hap happens if you go uh, invisible with the Mimics. Do they turn back into chests? Do. That's actually pretty funny. And now they're resistant again. Uh, not much we can do about it. Besides putting on that amulet. Which maybe we should do because we're not doing any damage. As long as they don't never hit us. Uh, 
Um, it's 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 such a pain that switching between amulets is a full action because it's like if we wanted to use brand the weak, we have to waste a turn putting it on, waste a turn casting it, and then I don't know. It's just. I wish there was a feat that lets you swap items for a bonus action. I'd totally take that. Uh, yeah, sure. Like I said, I think we can get away with one short rest. If that's the case, maybe we should be using all of our bull crap instead of trying to save it. I hope I'm right. <laughs> I mean, I don't really care if Nier dies. I just, I want to save the deep gnomes this time. Maybe it can be my one good deed of the whole campaign. It, it's more of, I've never saved them. So I want to see what happens when you do. <laughs> my, my only other playthrough that got this far was, I wasn't Dark Urge, but I was still evil. So I, with, uh, the goblins and with near and so you kill all the poor deep gnomes I feel bad for them <laughs> yeah so this toy chest oh geez this is trapped too well we can do that trick again where we throw it off the cliff um this toy chest is is there anything actually in it can't even use it right It's not. We can try throwing that, see if it breaks. Can we get up here? <laughs> okay. We might not be far enough to break stuff. Or maybe we just can't break this. You can. There's nothing in it. I thought maybe there'd be something really cool in it. There we go. <laughs> Scroll of Polymorph, that's pretty good. Scroll of Evidence. Um, what does that really do for us? Like I said, we're, I, I don't know if I've been far enough to know what that actually does. Maybe it gives you some advantage later you can use. I don't know. <laughs> 